For this challenge, we had to make a homemade booby trap. And I made one without really spending a dime, which is great. Um, I call it the Slip and Slide Slash. Uh, it's called a Slip and Slide Slash, as you will see, because it incorporates soap, canola oil, and if the intruder was, is unlucky enough to actually get to me, I have a machete. And that kind of, that's the slash. Um, and damn it, this is my house. I'm going to defend it. No beast will come in here and take my presents, bitch. So, really, there's only two doors in my house. There is this one, the front door. And then, excuse the pizza boxes, you have the back door. Now to do this, I have put in three things. I am using a small trip wire, the exit of the kitchen, and then we have, over here we have trash bags covered in palm olive uh, dish soap. Then, for a little extra bonus, we have over here, you probably can't see it, but and it's a slight discoloring if you can make it out. It's the, uh, there's some canola oil on the floor. Now, I guess I need to demonstrate this. I really don't want to. So, basically, here we go. Um, because if an intruder comes to the front door, he'll slip on that and go like so. Just, just really, really fucking slippery. Oh, God. It's sticking to my feet and I'm having a hard time keeping up. Oh, this is going to be tricky. I need to get to the kitchen. Um, Oh, walking on the sides of my feet. Oh, and oh shit. All right, there we go. So we've got that. So that's for the front door. Let's say he tries to come to the front door. He's going to run into that. Comes to the back door. We have the canola oil over here. Same, same thing. Very, very slippery. And once again, I'm struggling to keep my balance. So let's walk over there and let's say that doesn't stop him. Let's say he comes in. He's got slip-resistant shoes. He's just gonna, you know, be like, oh, whatever, no big deal. You know, I'll just keep going to get this guy. Now, by this point, he's made some, he's made, you know, some noise. I'm awake. You know, I am have either called the cops or I have armed myself. Now, for armaments, I have, you know, kitchen knives, etc. Now we have the tripwire. So come over here and whoop, fall on the tripwire. Another warning sign. I'm going to be up. Now, by this point, I'll have grabbed this. Really the only self-defense item I need. I mean, let's be honest. Somebody comes up to you with a machete, probably not going to be a happy camper. Now, if you had a gun, it'd be a different story, but nobody's really coming in here to steal my shit. I, you know, pretty much hang out in the living room day and night, so if somebody comes in, I'm going to know it. That would be my, you know, little 10 cent booby trap. Uh, use some speaker wire that I keep, uh, that I had in the garage for the trip wire. Uh, just palm olive and trash bags for the front door. And some canola oil for the back door. I was gonna do So that would be about it. Look at this house. Looks good with the stealing. There's lots of presents in there. Kid probably wants all of his presents. You know who I am? I'm a beast. I'm a mule, kiss some presents. I steal them. I take them from them. Take them by force. Let's go inside this house and get some of these presents. Let's go to the back door. I don't know why I see me. Be careful. Be quiet. Oh, they're asleep. I have the lights on. It looks like they're sound asleep. Oh, yeah. Let's put this thing in here. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, he's just on the floor. Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, you little kid. Kill you. Ah! Oh, oh, oh fuck me. Is this a machete? What is that? Bodies in the shade. Fuck out of here! Ah! Oh, it's on your floor!
Oh, fuck me! Oh, oh, oh.